Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be talking about how you can create brushes, two part brushes, three part brushes, brushes with intensity, brushes with pressure here in Affinity Designer. Alright, so we have Affinity Designer open here and if we just get a look at this, you would notice that it's quite simple, straightforward and very easy to go through. And if you're new to Affinity, Affinity by default has about two different workspaces there's a third one but that is basically for exporting your uh, designs out so you have the first one which is the vector persona and the second one which is the pixel persona individual uh, workspaces like this or individual personas as they are called they all have different brushes that you can work with so if you're working with the vector based persona if you're working with the vector persona, you would notice that you have brushes and you also have strokes. So directly from here, if I switch this to pen, you will see a couple of brushes that exist here. If I go over to uh, chalk, you can also see a couple of brushes that exist here. Now, these brushes are used to give stroke outlines to your object. So let's say we pick up a certain object like this. And let me just go through and pick up a very simple cloud and let's just drag this cloud right here all right so if i bring in a cloud from here i can switch this all right so i can get something like this now these brushes here like i said earlier is used for your stroke now if we go over to the pixel persona you would also notice that we have brushes but these brushes are only used in the pixel layer all right so you need to create a pixel layer before you can use this so i'm directly here on the pixel layer and i can now go through let's uh, go over and pick up a certain brush and let's switch down actually let's pick something very fancy i'm going to pick a marker something like this and you can see i can now use this to paint so let's get right into how you can make your brushes so very basic and very easily we're going to start off by let me just make sure that the layer is here and i'm directly here uh we're going to start off by simply let's reduce this by simply creating our very first standard or basic brush so i have gone ahead to create a category here which is called nk and you can create yours by clicking over to this button here and say create new category now once you create a new category it's going to be called brushes or whatever it's called brushes one brushes two then you can come through and rename that category from here if you want to go through and delete that quite easy so we're back here in nk and to create a new brush i have to come through and say create new solid brush but the new solid brush i'm creating now is just a very standard brush so let me show you what i mean so the very standard stroke brush like this we can give it a certain width which is the width we want this brush to have at any time we draw out an object on our canvas so i have this here and i just want this brush to have that width and i can have that there at any point in time if i want to make adjustments to this particular brush i can come through and you know position this brush here and start making those uh, adjustments and you can see that happening in real time now the second kind of brush you can make is brushes that you can make out of either alphas or out of images and that brings us to the two-sided or three uh, sided kind of brushes you can make so let's get quick to it and i'm going to click here and say create new brush all right new texture image brush so to create a new texture image brush i've gone ahead all right to download a couple of uh, stuff so I'm going to pick up this simple arrow and open this arrow up and you can see what the arrow looks like so if we come here and if I just simply pick a pen brush or a pen and I start drawing all right so let me just draw something like this and let's uh, actually switch over here and just make a bit of a modification and I just click here you will see what the arrow looks like it doesn't look that bad does it it doesn't look bad but this is not what we want so if you want to go through and use this all right to create a certain kind of brush that you want to work with then we need to double click right inside here now what we want to make is brushes that can stretch or that can probably repeat so what we need to do is to take this red line and position it where we want this to start from and you can see we're getting this feedback in real time all right so we can you know position this here and then we can take this other one and position it somewhere like here 
all right so i can position this somewhere like here now see what happens if i start increasing this you can see i'm getting our brush happening here now this is set to stretch if you want this to repeat over and over if you have something let's say you have something in the middle here and you want that to repeat over and over you can go through and turn this to repeat but for the brush you want we just want this to stretch and we can get this out here now once i'm done i can just simply close that and i have my first arrow brush which is a two-sided brush that has been created and so a very good example of how you can create repeated brushes is this so i'm going to come here and go over down here and select this particular arrow so we already saw how we can make this in uh, earlier so for this one i may want certain parts of this object to repeat so i can go through and just select just those segments that i want them to repeat or those segments i want to have as repeat let's go back to this and just set them to that point all right so i can come through close that and now if i go over and pick a very simple pen and simply draw something like this and click on ok and click on this brush you can see let's go ahead and just simply increase this you can see that we have those sections repeating all right so you can see that we have those sections repeating so these sections that we actually added earlier you can see them repeating directly here at any point in time let's go ahead and just simply increase the brush size from here so we don't have to do that over and over at any point in time you can also come over here and make your changes directly on your viewport all right so you can go over here make your changes directly on your viewport and you can see what's going on if you want it to simply stretch you can get a stretch like that but repeat this is what you can get all right, so I have this here. I'm just going to jump right into the Pixar Persona and let's just turn this off so that we don't see it. So for us to create a new one, just like we did the previous time, I can come here and I can create a brand new category. And with this now, I can still come through and rename this. And let's just quickly name this NK for, uh, you know, tutorial sake. And I'm going to come over here. And at this point, I can create different kinds of brushes that I want. So if I want a new brush, all right, so you saw how we make the, make the first brush, I'm going to come here and say, I need a new rounded brush. Now, the difference between the new round, uh, a round brush and a square brush is this, all right? You can see that the alpha for the rounded brush is circular and for that of the square is actually a cube-like, you know, alpha. So we can go right in here and from here i can start changing the size and you can also notice real quick that between the uh, pixel persona and the vector persona that the settings all right line or what you can play with here is a whole lot more so you have way more control for the brushes that you can use here because basically the pixel persona is built for you know you being able to paint texture and add a bit of finesse to your design now think about the pixel persona like a section of photoshop that exists here that you can go ahead and work with so directly from here you can see we have things like this all right you can also see that we have for spacing we can go ahead and change the spacing of the brush that we want and we can also change the dynamics now if we want to have this to jitter you can see what we can have here so you can have so much fun playing with this you can still go in and throw in a couple of textures if you want textures to also exist within the brush all right so if we want to go ahead and add our textures we can actually come through and click here to say we want to set a certain texture and it's actually best if i would suggest that you have an alpha that is actually a texture but now we're just going to play with this and you can see that we're having that texture there you can choose to scale this and you can see what's going on directly directly here now within the dynamics you can choose what you want to influence what right now i have this size jitter to uh, set to pressure all right so i have the size jitter set to pressure let me go ahead and just simply remove this so that we can see that so i have the size jitter set to pressure and at the same time if you want certain things to be let's say if you want the hardness of this jitter all right so you can see some are soft some are hard you can see that happening there if you want this to happen by pressure as well you can go ahead and make sure that you set it to pressure now whatever thing that you want you can set them directly here and then we can draw now you are going to notice that we have this few happening here all right now if you're wondering why we're having that color is because we are actually pick, pick, working with a very very uh still or should i say white color all right so now if i just have this here by default if you choose to use a mouse 
you're going to get this you can see there is no pressure happening there so if you choose to use a mouse you're going to get something like this but if you choose to use a pen you can see that the more pressure i put in on the pen the more i'm getting this now if you're thinking about the spacing the spacing is because we have already directly from here gone ahead to actually space this all right so we've gone ahead to space this this the, the way it is all right that's why we're having that so you can see because we've already gone ahead to space that that's why we're having those huge spaces there let me just space this just a little bit more something like that and so let's see what we have all right so if you choose to use a pen if you choose to use a, a mouse this is the result you would end up getting so I'm just going to do this. This is the result you're going to end up getting. But if you choose to use the pen, you would end up getting things like this. So the more pressure I put on the pen, the less and the more pressure. All right. So the more pressure I put, the more the object gets bigger, the less pressure you can see, the smaller it gets. All right. So this is how you can actually go ahead and play with this particular tool. So for this now, I'm going to go ahead and import a brand new image. So I'm just going to click directly here and go over to new image brush and get this. So I think we should actually play with the rope. What do you guys think? All right. Let's go ahead and play with the rope directly here. So with this rope here, I can also double click here and use this rope all right so i can use this particular rope as a brush so i can change whatever thing i want to work with by using this rope all right so i can come here and see i want the sizes to happen exactly like what we're having here and whatever thing that you want let's say you want to have the rotation to be driven in a much more funny way or you want the shape to be changed or depending on what you're going for if you want this thing to scatter along different sides when you're working with it and let's say i want to set this to pressure and want to simply leave that one at random and if you want to change the coloration you can do all of these things there now with this done i can now go ahead and press the brush directly here let's go ahead and create a new pixel layer and go back to brush mode all right so let's go back to brush mode and with our mouse I'm just going to go ahead and actually explain this. So with our mouse and with this selected, let's go back. This is what we can get, all right? So this is what we can get. But if you're driving this with your pen display, you can go through and get something like this. So you can actually direct what you want, where you want them to be. And yeah, you can make amazing, amazing fun stuff with this all right so this is how you can make brushes directly here in affinity and tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below are there things that i left out have you used the affinity brushes before have you tried creating brushes have you fallen into any problems while creating these brushes tell me about these things in the comment section below and i'll be very excited to help you guys out and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update review free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace